Bugs and insects, uh, they're just so creepy. Just imagine those eight-legged hairy things crawling all over your body, or those centipedes that have like a hundred legs and they're just so slimy looking. Or a slug. I would be too afraid to lift up a slug, although they're so tiny, why are we afraid of them? And also down under, I'm talking about Australia, they have so many animals and bugs and insects that I don't even know about because they only exist down under. They only exist in Australia and their ecosystem is so intricate and very intriguing. And you know, doing the research for this video, we found millions of different types of bugs and insects, and a lot of these I've never heard of, and some of them actually went extinct. Well, how's it going, YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Do Not Sing. Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to another Most Amazing Top 10 video. Right now, we're giving away $1,000. Make sure you guys head over to my Instagram, at Landon Productions. Look for this contest picture right here. We're choosing one lucky winner for this one. We're giving away $1,000 to you guys. All you have to do is make sure you follow me and tell me what would you spend $1,000 on. We're going to pick a winner, and we're going to announce it to you guys very soon. So make sure you guys head over to Instagram right now so you guys can have a chance to win $1,000. And right now we're giving away a total of $5,000 during the spring. And I think we just passed the $3,000 mark, so we still have another $2,000 to give away. And also summer's coming up, so maybe we'll do an even bigger giveaway. All right, let's get right into this one. This is the top 10 scary insects that we're glad that went extinct. Starting off this list, number 10, we have Arthropolera, which was an ancestor of the millipede and the centipede. These things, with their many, many pairs of legs, can grow to be a terrifying and bone-chilling 2.4 meters long. Is this real life right now? How can a bug grow this long? I mean, we're not talking about millimeters or centimeters, we're talking about meters and it can grow a feet wide. And because it's so massive, it likely didn't have any real predators, but it was still a herbivore, and I guess this is an actual gentle giant, but still one that I would not want to encounter in my lifetime. Luckily though, they lived around 300 million years ago, so it's nothing we have to worry about, but you know what, this is 2020, this is a year of just craziness, and I believe now that anything is possible, so maybe some scientists can bring these things back to life. I mean, we have these giant giant murder hornets that are killing people, and we have these gypsy moths flying around that's scaring people, and this virus that's locked down the world. So it seems like 2020 is a year of possibilities. Moving into number nine is the giant centipede. Okay, listen, I call house centipedes giant centipedes, and we're talking about these little things in actual reality. Well, they're far bigger than they need to be. Well, these giant centipedes, they've lived millions of years ago, and they were over three feet long. I'm pretty sure normal centipedes, they're like a few inches long. Well, we're talking about three feet long. I mean, this is more than half my body. Today, giant centipedes still exist, but those are about 10 inches in length. Those aren't the three feet centipedes that lived millions of years ago. Well, these things, they can eat birds, snakes, and bats. All right, moving right along, at number eight, we have the monstrous sea scorpion. Yes, scorpions, as we know it, can already be a lot bigger than I'm comfortable with, but I'm gonna be thankful every day that they aren't 2.5 meters long and aquatic anymore. Over 250 years ago, these insanely long scorpions scoured the ocean floor and used its massive claw to catch, and I'm assuming decapitate its prey. Just think about the size of a crocodile. That's the size that these things are. Now think of a scorpion being that big, the size of a croc. Now think of going swimming where these things are in the water, like taking a chance, because I know a lot of people know about sharks and they're still going surfing. Coming in at number seven, we have giant dragonflies. So pretty much on this list, you just take these uh, insects and make them giant. These things were apparently one of the largest insects to ever live with a wingspan that comes in at about two feet long. Yeah, I'm talking two feet. While we're so used to bugs eating other bugs, apparently some researchers think that this dragonfly emphasis on the dragon part of it, well, they ate squirrels and frogs to get enough nutrients. Apparently, they went extinct millions of years ago when Earth's oxygen levels started to decline, and you know what? I'm, I'm a little bit happy about that one because I couldn't imagine a world with these things flying around. Dragonflies are big enough as it is, and for some reason, I'm afraid of these, like, harmless things. <laughs> Number six, we have the killer land scorpion. Thankfully, these ones weren't nearly as large as their underwater counterparts, but they still measured in at about two feet 
in length, this one lived over 400 million years ago. And while it likely ate smaller insects, which was just about everything I'm assuming, its sting was definitely powerful enough that it can kill some animals. Number five, we're talking about the Mampulator Modificopotus. Well, this cockroach wasn't particularly large. In fact, it wasn't even a centimeter long, nor it was poisonous. But you know how bugs can't turn their heads at all? Well, they have to turn their entire bodies to look around or use their weird bug eye vision. Well, not this guy, not this little guy. This guy can actually turn his entire head to look deep into your soul. It seems like such a minor detail, but I would not like to actually know that I'm being watched by a bug. I mean, no thank you. Next up, number four, we have Apten Operiserus Bermanicus, or what I like to call the prehistoric scary wasp thing. I call it that because while it's kind of a wasp, it also kind of isn't. In fact, when scientists first discovered fossilized remains of this insect, they had to create a whole new category for it. While it had the face of a wasp and the stinger of a wasp, it didn't have wings. Instead, it had hind legs to hop around, kind of like a grasshopper, and it apparently had a belly like a beetle. So imagine a wasp grasshopper beetle hybrid. Well, that was this thing. I'm not a fan of any of these individually, so I can't imagine like a fusion of all of these things millions of years ago. Well, right now we know that there's only fossil as evidence that they ever existed. Number three, I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit with this one because I'm not entirely sure that this counts as a bug, but it came up a few times during the research. So for the sake of this video, we're counting this as a bug. We're talking about the Anamarcharchius candanceus, which is part shrimp, part squid, and part very hard to pronounce. Well, likely not as delicious as either of those things. Well, these sea creatures range from about six feet in length, and they have these weird limbs at the end of its nose and they would use it to snatch its prey. Then it would use its ring of a razor sharp teeth to devour them. Yeah, I already know that seeing these things would send me straight into my nightmare land. A shrimp with razor sharp teeth? Hard pass. <laughs> Number two is a giant snail. Currently the largest snail to exist measures up to be about half a foot long. So we're talking about the giantium and this thing is four times as long. This snail comes in at around two feet long and it has a long conical ridged shell that probably helped it to burrow. Like other snails, it was probably harmless, but I'm kind of wondering if its huge size would help it move faster than the other snails, or if it would just weigh it down. And last but not least on this list, we have the giant snail squid type of thing. And I mean giant. The Camarocerius measured in at 30 feet long, and yes, it was a predator, which meant that it wasn't peaceful and survived on plants, but it'd rather hunt for and kill its prey. It was apparently almost blind, but it somehow it wouldn't give me any peace if I saw a 30 foot tentacled pointed shelled sea creature coming at me. Well, there you guys have it. That was a top 10 scary insects that we are very glad went extinct. If any of these came back, I would be horrified. I'm still trying to get over these murder bees, these murder hornets, these Asian murder hornet things and gypsy moths. Well, there you guys have it, guys. I was your host for this one, Landon Delsing, and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.